But hello there and happy Friday to all of my Capricorns. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Friday reading. Hopefully, Capricorns, you set those intentions to have a fantastic day. And ha, you're having a fantastic day. Let's get into it, Capricorns. Let's go. I'm talking to you if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I'm talking to you if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart. So that means I'm talking to me, 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 me. Yes, that may be a little off key, but you get the point. All right, let's go. If you have Capricorn in your chart, that makes you loyal, hardworking, a team player, ambitious, very classy, creative, great managers of people, money, and time, self-control, self-discipline, and very responsible. And you can also add to that. So let's see what your cards have to say. Boop. First card out of the deck, the Hierophant card, right? Yeah, some of you all may have Taurus in your chart. We have the um, Tower card. Or they could be a Taurus in your life that's going through a tower moment. Here we have the death rebirth card. We have the death rebirth card. So somebody, or it could be a Scorpio that's going through a tower moment. Or somebody in your life that could have, I don't want to get stuck up on, hung up on signs. Remember, we're still very much full moon energy. We're full moon energy in a divine masculine sign to your divine feminine. Your divine feminine, meaning that you're receivers. And the divine masculine is almost... Keeping you, um, depending on depending on how hard it is for you all to move out a certain thing, it may feel like you're being forced, but actually you're not being forced. There's a warm flame up under you to keep moving forward. Sometimes that, because you're headed in the right direction and you're divinely protected, right? So something is ending, like something is, and somebody is coming in their spirit is like, okay, I need to end this, and it's a very painful decision for me to end this permanently for good, right? And again, and things are not going to look, things are not looking well for somebody, somebody in your life. Things are not looking well for them because you've made the very painful decision to sever ties with them, right? Here we have the Emperor card also. Uh huh. So you have a lot of major life changes that's going on, but somebody's going to feel a lot happier once they sever ties with somebody. And again, it, emotions are involved. I want to keep you all, I want to remind you of something, right? So not only are we still very much in full moon and Sagittarius phase, which again, that warm flame is, remember I gave you all a um, sort of, sort of a, a short story. It's from the, uh, the uh, book of First Kings. Uh, about the the real mother who actually wanted to surrender her baby to the fake mother because the fake mother wanted to cut the baby in half. That Bible story that I was sharing with you all, if you haven't, go watch the last video. But something has been keeping somebody really, really just disappointed. Really disappointed. When you all, when you all really, really tap into your... When you really sit down and think about some things and who you have to sever ties with, what relationships you're going to have to blow torch, right? Blow torch that bridge to a crisp, just end it all together. You're looking at all of the relationships in your life, like weighing all of it. And I'm talking about nobody, nobody is excluded from this, this, this like under the umbrella of I need to review and meticulously review every single relationship in my life and make some decisions because some of them have absolutely hurt me like really hurt me and left me feeling like I was by myself there was no support some of it could be from family members it could be from some of your own parents but you just felt like there was no support whatsoever some of them could have been from or they were just very um very manipulative it could have been from an ex-lover who you just finally decide, I need to just go ahead and sever ties with this. This is just not healthy for me. I'm talking about expansion, expansion, expansion. In order for me to expand my spiritual gifts, in order for me to expand my wallet, in order for me to expand my social circle, I need to vibrate higher and I need to leave some things below, um, behind me, right? Those energies are going to start acting super nice. But see, because you're listening to, because you're listening to your intuition about some things, you have a track record for some things, right? You have a track record. This is scaring somebody to have to leave some people behind because again, what is that going to look like for me if I leave them behind? Are they going to erupt? Are they going to snap? Is it going to be something violent? Is it going to be something physical? Are they going to do something to me? I'm telling you, God has you protected. You have nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing to worry about. Are they going to cuss me out? Are they going to threaten me? Are they going to do X, Y, and Z? 
I don't even want to say I wish they would, but I wish they would because God is not, their arms are too short to box with God, right? So this is where you in your humility is making a final decision about severing ties with something and you're not worried about it this time. You're not worried about it. You're really, really not worried about it. Like I told you, your ancestors are gangster. <laughs> Some of y'all ancestors are a trip. When I see things in the spirit realm, I'm like, oh my God. Look at Capricorn all classy and nice and sweet and vibrating high, just minding their business. They're not trying to bother nobody, but their ancestors coming out like, they coming out with everything. Like what in the world? <laughs> Is that thing licensed? What? <laughs> they coming out with all kinds of illegal stuff, right? So anyway... Anyway, but again, it would be legal, illegal in this realm, but it's not illegal where they are, right? And they are not in hell. Your ancestors are in a much, much better place, but they are they don't play about you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They do not play about you. So you don't have anything to worry about. And I'm going to tell you that on the other side, somebody is shaking in their boots, right? It can even be an Aries that's going to be going through something really, really a, a time where, I mean, things are just going to come crumbling down. Things are going to come crumbling down, right? Yeah, but again, for you, it's going to be so much better on the other side. You're all of your relationships about to change. When I tell you that anytime you felt like you were vibrating low, like you felt overly serious, stressed out, unforgiving, suspicious of everything, melancholy, cr extra critical of yourself, all of that's about to change, Capricorn, because you're, you're making some serious adjustments, right? Queen of Swords. When I tell you that somebody, and I'm talking about men and women, uh, Capricorns, when I tell you that somebody's going to be sitting on that throne and your emotions are to the side, set off to the side, it's not like you don't have compassion, but you're like, I, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. I'm done. I'm done. And this is a very painful decision for me to make. So, and that's what they're not considering is that it was a painful decision for you to make to finally go ahead and separate ties. I'm telling you, you're talking about expansion, but so you're going to have to sacrifice something. And unfortunately, it's going to be some people you're sacrificing. Yes, and some people that you're sacrificing as well as the emotions in order for you to get to the other side and live your absolute best life. Because creatively, there are some people that are holding you back. Yeah, creatively, seven of swords. Something about them is going to be exposed. I'm telling you, something is going to be exposed. And so now it's time to pull together your team of people, some, some team, your team of people that um, are going to be supportive. And sometimes they don't look like blood relatives. Some of, sometimes they look like, you know, friends who have been there with you through thick and thin, a safe space for you to talk. Sometimes they just look like a therapist's office, for real. Here we have Connect with Crystals. Grab your gemstones and crystals. Again, this pink one right here is a rose quartz. This is for forgiveness. This is for self-love. It's for agape love. This um, amethyst right here is for healing. Now, I know you all use, are used to seeing my other gemstones and crystals, and they are supercharged, so I'm letting them there in various places of my home so that they're, you know, they're, they're properties, just like on full display. But again, let's keep it moving. Yes, so yes, happy Friday to each and every one of you. Happy Friday. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, so somebody's going to feel a lot happier because you're making a final decision to go ahead and sever something that was just like, you know, um, emotionally just painful for you all. Confidence is key, right? So Leo, some of you all may have Leo in your chart, but um, the Leo in you is going to full, shine a full light on these energies that you have to leave behind. Like you're going to know the absolute truth. So Leo is ruled by the sun. When we talk about when somebody asks you what your sign is, a lot of times people will tell them their sun sign, right? But this, the sun is, not a, is, is a star. It's not a planet, right? It's your inner light. Your, your inner light is going to shine a light on these energies that you have to leave behind. You're going to realize they've never been supportive. They've been bullying you to some degree, gaslighting, lying, playing all kinds of games, right? The sun is also aligned with our identity and our creative life force. The creative life force for you all, this is why I know it's some family members that you're severing ties with or people that you may have been married to or something that, that you at some point felt like they were family members. They could even be best friends you saw as family members or whomever. But I'm seeing things coming crumbling down for them emotionally like 
all that blood, sweat, and tears that they put in manipulating you, they could have put all of that into really loving you and really helping you um, in a situation by really kind of sort of getting in line with what you wanted in life, like really being supportive. Even if they didn't like somebody that you love, they could have put those wicked emotions to the side and said, okay, help us to understand what you see in this energy. You know, they just really needed to be supportive for, uh, supportive of you when you really needed them. And they were just too evil to do it. So, you know, you wanted to, you wanted to tap into your creativity. They didn't want to support anything until they saw money. Let me just going to keep it real. They didn't want to support anything with you until they saw money. Now they see you getting a little bit of notoriety and some money is coming across your path, whether you're a doctor, lawyer, singer, you know, whatever your profession is, whatever you tapped into creatively. And they're seeing that, okay, there's a chance that Capricorn could really be big as something. No, keep that same energy you had before. That's right. I am observant. This is your number. I am observant. Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes. Listen and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. Your number is 00 Capricorn. That's what your number is for today. Again, I need you all to be prayerful. I need you all to remember about expansion. What are you trying to expand in your life? Because you're going to have to sacrifice something, whether it's people, places, and things you're going to have to sacrifice. But I can assure you that you are safe and your loved ones, the people that genuinely care about you are safe. They're all under protection of source. So you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Okay. So keep moving forward. You made the right decision to continue moving forward. Like I said, on the 21st is the last quarter moon in Aries, but you all know how I do. I'm going to make sure you all keep, you know, stay focused. So I'm going to tell you about the different moon phases moving forward and what's happening. But we're moving into the last quarter moon in Aries and Aries symbol is the ram. It's also a cardinal sign like you all are. So you're going to be taking some action to ram through those emotions. And I'm telling you, it's going to be critical for you to surround yourself with people who are going to be 100, not 99% supportive of where you're going and having to just sever ties with certain people and leave them behind. Okay. That is what I have for you. People, places, and things, right? So it's going to make sense to you why certain things happen along the way. It's going to make perfect sense to you. Okay. So I'm going to help you all through this journey. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.